Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a utility that is built into the Windows 7 operating system that should hopefully be able to identify and resolve issues you have with the search functionality on your Windows computer. So if you were gonna search for your system files and drives, if you notice that it's taking very long to populate the list, there's a very good chance you're having indexing issues. So in this brief tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys a utility that's included in the operating system that should hopefully be able to resolve most problems you guys are experiencing. So we're going to jump right into it, and we're going to start by heading over to the Start menu, and we're going to search up Troubleshooting. And the best match that comes up should say Troubleshooting, right below Control Panel. You want to left-click on that one time to open it up. And now in this new window, you want to select the View All button on the left side here. And now you want to go down to where it says search and indexing. And you want to left click on that one time. And in this new window it should say search and indexing. Troubleshooting to help prevent computer problems. Find items on your computer using Windows Search. You want to left click on this advanced hyperlink right down here. And you want to make sure the apply repairs automatically option has a check mark next to it. And once you've ensured that you want to click on the next button. And now it's going to be a little bit more custom depending on what your specific issue is. But we can say, which is probably going to be one of the more common issues here, would be to search or indexing is slowing down the computer. So we're going to select next year. And you might want to troubleshoot as administrator, so select that. And again, we would select what we did before. We just had to basically accept that we were going to use administrative permissions. And you can go through this utility further if it cannot identify the prom. And if we view detailed information, we can see what it's scanned for. Now, like we saw earlier, there are different options. So you're more than welcome to open up this utility and run the different scenarios here. And hopefully one of those options should work for you guys. So, like I said before, I do hope you guys have success with this tutorial. And as always, thank you for watching. And I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.